I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is the best car here at the New York Auto Show today. This is the 2025 Infiniti QX80. Looking at the front of the QX80, when this vehicle was first unveiled, I actually thought it looked a little bit like the Lexus GX. Now, after seeing it in person, paying a little more attention, researching some more, I realized that was completely untrue. Not only is this vehicle very unique and distinct, but it just has a very relaxing vibe to it. The front is designed to be like a bamboo forest. I see a bit more of a mustache, but two things can be true at once. Take a look at our big lit up Infinity grill with kind of this 3D design to the logo. Uh, this is Infinity's new way of doing their logo. You're gonna see it roll on more places. The lighting on the front of this vehicle really is incredible. Look at all these individual light pieces. In the rear, we're gonna see some really intricate uh, LED lighting. Massive air curtains here. Aerodynamics are an important part of this vehicle, as we'll see with the door handles, which fade in, and some other design elements. Just because you're this huge, hulking three-row SUV doesn't mean that you can't be aerodynamic. Take a look at our wheels here. They're on air suspension. When we're going off-road, the QX80 is gonna lift itself up by two and a half inches to get some more ground clearance. Check out the paint here. This is called dynamic metal paint. What's so special about it? It took six years for Infinity to de develop. Why is that? For a normal metallic paint, you have to put on a black base layer and then layer after layer after layer of paint to get that metallic look. That takes a lot of time. So Infinity found out a way to create the same metallic effect on a production line, and that's why it took them six years. Now, I mentioned there was some special lighting at the rear. Check this out, over three 100 LED lights in this light bar right here. Of course, you have a kick to open tailgate and all that good stuff, but this is really one of my favorite parts of this vehicle. I think this light bar stands out in the industry. It's just a great design. Now the QX80 contains all the modern safety features you would expect, pedestrian detection, lane keeping, lane centering, et cetera, et cetera. It also has blind spot monitoring. You're saying, okay, Jake, what's up with that? Well, not only does it have blind spot monitoring, but it has trailer blind spot monitoring. So it will monitor the blind spot of your trailer, which was a feature previously only reserved really for pickup trucks. It's cool to see that making its way to a premium SUV that realistically could be used to tow a boat. The Infiniti QX80 is powered by a three and a half liter twin turbo V6 engine, making 450 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. That's an increase of 50 horsepower and 103 pound-feet of torque from the previous generation. Guys, we got to talk about this interior. First of all, you have to go for the autograph trim. Yes, it's $110,000, but look at the six Star Wars headrests you get. You also have these gigantic dual 14 inch displays. You're gonna get these on any trim along with this climate control display down here. The stitching in here, the red leather, it is absolutely beautiful along with that uh, open pore wood, the infinity text along the front. This screams elegance, it screams texture and interest. I absolutely adore this interior, but it has some really cool tech features. Now I wanna show you the cameras of the QX80. The QX80 has a pretty impressive drone view camera that makes it appear as if you are streaming a camera feed from a drone circling your QX80. BMW has this feature, Genesis has this feature, but it is cool to see it show up here in the QX80. Note the color of the QX80 in the camera view does not match the color of the dynamic metal QX80 that I'm currently sitting in. I'm not sure if there's a way to change the color of the QX80 in the infotainment system in the settings. Some vehicles operate that way. That big black spot in the rear is only there because the rear hatch is open. Normally, you'd get a full 360 view, but this is not even the coolest camera feature. Now, I think this is the most useful camera feature on the QX80, and it's one that you're gonna see populate throughout the industry. We have a 170 degree front camera. This shows you an ultra wide view so that you can see around corners. I foresee this being super helpful in parking garages. This view is supposed to take up both screens and give you an ultra large monitor, but the software in this particular QX80 was pre-production and would not play nice.
Then we have the invisible hood view. Now, as you drive, the cameras of the QX80 will fill in the details under the car so that black spot will disappear and it will appear as if you are looking through the hood of the QX80. No doubt, this is gonna make parallel parking a lot easier. The QX80 also has a built-in dash cam. Now, this is really cool. If you get in an accident, the QX80 can save the footage from the front camera and you can provide that to your insurance or the authorities. However, there is also an interior facing camera. Now you can disable this, but if you want to use that interior facing camera, you can actually use it to post to social media. What do you think about an interior camera? Let me know in the comments below. The craziness continues back here. We have heated and ventilated seats here in the second row. We got heated seats in the third row. That is insane. Since we have the autograph, we have this big screen here to control our seat functions here in the rear. Um, you can get the bench seats on the lower trims, but it's just going to be uh, having the captain's chairs here on the autograph trim. These seats move forward. You can move them forward from the front screen. It creates an absolutely massive entryway tons of light coming into here. One thing I really want to mention is the biometric heating. So there are sensors in here that can detect the temperature of the occupants in the back and automatically start cooling them. So for example, let's say your kids jump in the back after playing soccer all day and now they're all hot and sweaty. Those sensors are going to detect their hot, automatically kick on the AC without you doing a thing and cool down their body temperature. Infinity says this results in your sweaty kids being cooled down much faster. So they're far less likely to complain and make you miserable. Here's a glimpse at the digital gauge cluster. From a customization standpoint, there isn't much to write home about. What I was more impressed by was the sharpness of the display. There's no fringing around the text, no halo, nothing like that, just crisp, clear, sharp text. Within the display itself, it is the typical story. You can customize drive modes and vehicle systems or view diagnostics by navigating around the system with buttons on the steering wheel. All right, gang, let's get into the third row here. It's very easy to push a seat forward. It's all power automated. I say it's really easy. No, that's not it. This is it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This is it. Here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, pretty snazzy. You can do this from the front as well. No, stop. Good car. Okay. Do not beep at me again. Okay. Here we go. We are now in the rear. Let's pull the seat back. Good car. Yes. Good QX80. Okay. Now that the... Are you done? Okay, now that the QX80 has locked me away in the rear, you'll actually find pretty decent leg room back here. Um, I have just enough room for my head. If you are a bit taller than six feet, you probably will be hitting your head back here. But if you're six foot or shorter, you should be fine. We have heated seats in the rear. I know I mentioned that before, but that is just bonkers. That's just bonkers to have heated seats in the rear. And then we have our power folding seats back here since they already have the power folding function for, you know, making more storage space. We do have cup holders, USB charging back here. It is a real snazzy third row. Uh, whichever brats get stuck back here are going to be pretty happy. Now I want to talk about audio because this vehicle has an incredible sound system. 24 speakers, four speakers in the headliner really helps bring the sound up in the vehicle. I got a demonstration from the audio team that helped put together the audio system in the QX80. It was incredible. Even more impressive though is the individual sound bubble you can create. So you can use the speakers in those crazy looking headrests to give audio directions to just the driver or just the front row passenger that no one else can hear. So only the driver can hear the audio or the uh, navigation directions come through the headrest. Or you can have, for example, a phone call come through and only the person in the front driver's seat can hear it. That is just an absolutely crazy feature. It's using active noise cancellation and those headrest speakers to accomplish that incredible feat. So why is the QX80 best in show? Well, for the same reasons that I love the Lexus RX350. Here's what I mean. 
The QX80, like the RX350, not only has a silly name, but it delivers a few thoughtful features that are game changers, and that I believe will be present in vehicles from other automakers in the next few years. That 170 degree camera, the individualized sound bubbles, and the biometric cooling are all very creative features that I hope to see spread throughout the industry in the coming years. I look forward to getting a QX80 out on the road at some point, so be sure to like and subscribe to see that. I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers. Have a great week, everyone.